Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. You guys are gonna get attacked. Ah, fuck. No, it's shields are coming back. Go. Change my mind. Get out of there. I did not think they'd be able to pump through those Forerunner like that, but I was obviously mistaken. Super Carrier. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Well, guys, I think this is pretty much a lost cause. I'm just getting annihilated, so. Like, do I need to play on easy? Oh, no. This is hard. This is really hard. Oh, no. Shit. Okay, so original strategy is not gonna work. The Infinity will lead us to victory. It's the nasty aliens. This is like how the UNSC Infinity is actually used in the lore. It's like humanity's last ship. This is where the, this is where the tides are changing. I can see it in my mind's eye. I'm visualizing it. Make it happen. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Don't care. I just don't care anymore. We're not winning. So I'm just, although we do have the UNSC infinity, I am, I'm too tactically compromised otherwise. Hey guys, this is Justin. Hello and welcome to something that I think has kind of been missing over here on X2 and that is a single X playthrough of a game that I think you guys will like. We're actually playing one of the first things we ever tried for the channel and that is Sins of the Prophets, which is as you can probably tell even just by the main menu here, a very involved and polished mod for Sins of the Solar Empire. This is actually one of the first games that I played not only just for the channel but as a mod um, that I played period. I didn't have a PC growing up. I had a little laptop that could kind of chug along and maybe run a mod, not super well. Um, so it's kind of cool to come back to this to see that it's still being worked on. It must be close to a decade after I first played it. So today we're probably just going to do a single quick game. And then if you guys are interested, we can look at expanding the series. I kind of just want to see the state of things, probably get my butt kicked as the UNSC. We probably will lose. The UNSC is difficult in this. Uh, but if this is something you guys are interested in, we can definitely do more. We can either do a multi-series thing, or maybe we can do something with Corey and Charlie, or live streams, or whatever you guys want. But if that is something you're interested in, make sure that you do leave a like, and your support, and your comments, and whatever else down below, and subscribe for more. This is Taking It Back Old School. I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys do too. Let's get the old uh, earmuffs on. And get the game set up. So this is the Warlord, um, I believe it's called the Warlord version of this. And we're just gonna play a random medium. I'm gonna turn the Flood Survival Mode off. I'm gonna lock the teams. Quick Start sounds good. Fleet Size, I'll keep that all on. So we will do the UNSC as I said. So we'll be UNSC here. You guys can have the uh, crappy, I'll, I'll get an AI ally, make the UNSC. You guys can have the crappy new logo. We're gonna have the Chad old logo here. Let's be orange, cause orange is cool. Uh, UNSC one, and then we'll do go against two Covenant, of course. Uh, so team one, team two, let's get the logo set up, Covenant. And actually the Covenant should both be purple. You know, fuchsia and purple. There we go. So let's see, max players four, 56 planets, two stars, best for free for all, well. We'll do two on two. I'm gonna get myself a heroic teammate just because it's been a while since I've played. Uh, and yeah, it can be hard as the UNSC and I don't wanna get uh, absolutely just dogged. Just absolutely just dogged by the AI. All right, so I do remember a few things. Um, first thing you do, you set your guys to explore and you do some early research. Let's go ahead and throw on some research, armaments, sure. Go ahead and build a few ships as well. So the UNSC in this game plays quite a bit like the UNSC would in lore. Um, they need vastly more numbers than the Covenant and they usually lose, at least when I play them. Um, let's take a look at our surroundings. Okay, so we've got three planets here uh, connected directly to our home world. This one sort of spiders off. I'm guessing that all of these probably do. As the UNSC, one thing, at least when I used to be somewhat successful, that you kind of want to do is make choke points. So yeah, you can see a UNSC, uh, this is a marathon here, looking great. You can set different uh, like upgrades and stuff for each of your ships, which is one thing I like about this. One thing that I like to do with the Orion, which is one of the starting capital ships you get, is give it the, uh, the colonization perk. That way it can help early on. All right, so let's see. We gotta figure out which planet we wanna to try to colonize first. So this one's got four asteroids, all of that one kind. This one's a barren planet. So none of these are looking super friendly for colonization. Uh, so mostly going to be going for them for resources. Let's see if our ships have finished building. So we've got two Parises. No, not quite yet. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and usually the planets will have a little bit of what's called tactical capacity and logistics capacity. So you can see this planet has two logistical capacity slots left um, and then defense capacity, they call it in this. So I can build, let's just build the civilian technologies because I want to get my economy, try to get that up and going if I can. Just go for the basic economy boosts all right so we've got a decent fleet here it's not fully built but that's okay let's go for this planet united rebel front controls this so this is a methane planet and i'm not really finding anywhere that i'll be able to get a population on which is you can tax i believe and you get credits titanium and uh, deuterium all right we've got our ships let's have it so our ships all jump together i like when they do that and i thought i had more Ships being built, yeah. Let's go ahead and this will increase my hull points. Okay, and that will increase my fleet capacity. Got it. You can see, I love the scene of all the ships jumping together. This is the Orion class. It is actually canon in Halo. You don't see it in the games or anything, um, but they've got, I think it's in the fleet battles game they have. Or Paris is just, more Paris has just popped out. I don't know if they're coming out in... Uh, the, big spurts or whatever but we should have enough here to let's manage the battle um here take this out quick let's send our oh did my paris has not come i've got one all right well we should be okay as you can see um these little frigates are not very strong yeah that thing just got knocked out probably by a nuke so the nuke is one of the special abilities i picked for one of my capital ships so yeah, these things will go down pretty quickly. Uh, even the fighters should be pretty effective against these. Pretty effective against these. So let's go ahead and here. Next one up. Oh, this is a, like the second voice crack I have had. I don't know if this has been recording all day, but let's pop that frigate real quick. There we go. There are the rest of the frigates. All right, so we're going to try to colonize these planets as quickly as possible. Just looking at kind of the state of things. I definitely want these two and this one and probably this one yeah my fighters are doing a good job as well they don't have any so that's a nice benefit but yeah, you can see my my bigger capital ships aren't even really taking any heat here so that's good yeah i do have my allies i guess i can't see them on the map i think that's an option you can change but let's make sure we're still researching stuff you always want to be researching environment um project deja looks like it helps you with research so all right let's grab the orion here and colonize this planet. Some planets you need, um, at least in the base game, I don't know what the mod does now, but some planets you'll need extra kind of things, like extra research to get. So I think we will probably try to go for, I think we'll probably try to go straight there. So we can get this one and this one, and then I guess this one will have a pretty decent uh, sort of make the fleet jump together start developing this so yeah no civilian infrastructure which means we will not be getting a whole lot in terms of um in terms of tax but we do have some titanium mines four of them in fact that's pretty good um let's research where is it there's one thing that lets you oh yeah refinery ships so yeah so i think we can build also start building refineries as well yeah it just we don't quite have enough credits but i'm gonna go ahead and sell some of oh i almost bought some which would have been unneeded and I'll just start a little trade. Oh, no logistics slots. Do I, can I buy any more? I can't. Um, okay, once I, eventually I will build a research structure on an, why did you guys jump on your own? Everyone is supposed to jump together. Shit. All right, let's keep, you guys gotta stay together then. That's not good. These four frigates, I thought I told everyone to jump together, but these four frigates have their own ideas. Let's here, push, push away. You're gonna get caught probably. Oh, here we go, reinforcements have arrived. Good timing. So he hasn't taken too much heat, surprisingly. All right, well, good enough. So one thing that I like is your capital ships and whatnot can actually be upgraded, which is cool. Uh, no capital ship crew. Let's go ahead and upgrade. So I'm just looking at these. So the Gladius is a Corvette. Let's do the Gladius and then, I don't know if you need to do that to get the Halcyon, but I want the Halcyon because I like that ship. Wow, this plant does not have much in terms of orbital capacity. All right, so I probably have to wait for, oh no, no recharge on that, so that's good. Did I lose all my, I think I might have lost all my scout ships. So let's just go ahead and build a few more. Um, Winter Cross Class Prowler, let's build a bunch of those. I do have one in this fleet as well that I should detach. Probably over by yourself, are you? Yeah, 
Yeah, Prowler's got no business being in a uh, being in a combat zone. So, oh, this one can actually actually hold some decent population. So that's good. I'm gonna bother selling credits right now. I'm I've kind of got the bad habit of selling things just to like speed up the process of getting ships out or like not speed up the process so I can queue up a bunch of things but that's like in reality just a colossal waste of money because you're not actually like you're paying a premium to trade so you're paying a premium for something that can wait if that makes sense and like you get no advantage from doing early other than if it's me you might not you might forget later all right let's keep the research going um okay so this one can actually take some logistics capacity so yeah like I should I, I'm tempted to buy that Spring Hill class, but I'm not going to um, because there's things building right now anyway. I do want to, however, build a... Okay, I can build it now. And then after that, I'm going to build another uh, military... I think a military lab. And I should really start probably a second fleet so I can... Mm. So once I have 125 and 800, let's purchase this. See, this is a case where I probably could sell some... Okay, so let's buy some of this i hate how they've got no i need some sort of yeah i need some sort of buy sell thing quick off especially because some mods have the uh the resources like the same resources horizontal some of them have them vertical so got quite a few ships in this one mama head okay so that's the, really the spring hill so like right here for example that's just got five frigates so i can build another capital ship which I should be able to do soon. Yeah, so I can build a marathon. I think I might have one. Oh, no. I'm just getting one more. So let's do some more research. So here, let's keep doing the Project Deja. Which I guess speeds up research, but actually makes it slightly more expensive. So I probably won't go too far down there. Down that path. Um... Oh, nice. So there's faction leaders now. Let's see. So Preston Cole, he's best suited to offensive strategies. Oh, more XP. Oh, nice. So you do get some, that's something probably nice to get early on, especially while I'm trashing these uh, crappy little AI ships. Okay. Let's get that colonized. You don't need to use on new. Oh, we got to bomb this planet. Okay. Well, that sucks for you guys. Probably gonna take a while. I might want to. I think the Charon is a yeah. The Charon's a planetary attacker, so I'll build a few of those. Yeah, I never. I, the last version of the mod I played did not have um, did not have this. It's pretty cool. So fleet capacity. Oh, that's not good. My allies are losing capital ships already. Okay, so this is another capital ship one there. Okay. Sorry if it seems like I'm trying to learn things, it's because I am. <laughs> Hate to see the UNSC bombing the shit out of its out of human worlds. It doesn't really make sense. I kind of wish there was another way to do it, but it is what it is. It's the Charon. Here, let's send you to join this fleet, and I'll leave the other Charon with this one. Not that one's gonna make a very big difference, but whatever. Next income increase, research cost. Ooh, that's a nice one. Let's get that done. And then I gotta, I'm gonna queue up that one when I get five. Oh, 500 credits. There we go. So right now we've got two winters, which are not gonna help. Charon three. Okay, let's build a few more of these Parises. We really need to get our income up right now. I'm a bit worried the AI is just gonna smack me. I will also queue up one more, one more Mare. Actually, one more Orion. I like the diversity of ships. Actually, have a few more here. Nothing we can't handle, hopefully. Is that camera in a bad spot? Hmm. Do down there. So, I think I built the Spring Hill, yeah. So once I get a few more of those, uh, let's build a, oh, I can't build a military lab. Oh, yes, I could, this one's military. Civilian lab needs more logistics for some reason. Logistical capacity, whatever. All right, so we got a second fleet now. Let's get a nuke. And let's get colonized. Let's get some fighters out. Anti-ship, anti-structure. Very good, very good, very good. So this is some sort of forerunner terminus. Okay, looks like a big portal. Some sort of some sort of suicide squad. 
And I'm not taking solace in the fact that I'm already the worst, like in every category. What? It seems like my ally is just getting absolutely dummied right now. Not, not great news for us. There we go. That's this one. Yes. All right, fleet. There we go. One more planet for the Eckhart's Ladder Empire. The Ecumene. You love to see it. So if this planet is kind of just going to chill with no hyperspace lanes, then well, let's see what is going on over here. We've not actually gotten any intel here yet. So, all right, the battle is about to start. Okay, so let's start preparing this planet up here. Okay, we got to do more research. Um, industry, industry, get this done. And his bulkhead fleet capacity, capital ship crews, two more. Okay, let's go ahead and just sell some of that. We got to get more military research. So I am forced to sell some metal. Oh shit, I just sold crystal. I call it, it's, de it's deuterium, but in the base game, it's a uh, crystal and metal, I think. How's this battle going? Not amazing. We might lose a couple ships, but these Charons aren't really great at, uh, okay, let's just take that out. Yeah. These char the Charons aren't great at, uh, ship to ship. So, oh, we didn't take the, we didn't take the Orion with us. Well, that's a bit of a problem. How's this battle going? What's going on here, boys? Here, take them as they come. Here, I want you guys in like fucking wolf pack tactics here. Take them together. Pop them, then move on to the next one. Watch these max go. There we go. Just absolutely gutted it. You love to see it. Carriers. Okay. So the Orion can now colonize this. Where's the Orion? Did it arrive? No. It's on its way. It should better be on its way. So that will allow me to improve the refiner ship. Isn't there another kind too? Or did they? Yeah, so Commerce Station. So I'd like to get that. Uh where is it? Manufactory? Is it one of these? Class Super OVP, support vessel, Halcyon. Let's get the Halcyon unlocked. Must be an in it must be an industry somewhere. Mm, I'm not seeing it. It's it's here somewhere. I'm, ju I'm just not seeing it. Oh wait, I just saw it here somewhere. Structure facility, she will launch two anchor stations. It's just, I'm just not seeing it. Okay, well, let's get some Halcyons coming. Oh, we're second in military. That's good at least. Uh, okay, let's colonize this planet, please. There we go. We got an extra bug popper ready. Right, I'm just gonna take one more. So can I pause this game? I don't, I, I don't think I can pause and look at. Well, we got more capital ship crew, so let's spend them. Okay, let's get you guys here, and you guys will handle this more fiery one. Flood world. Ugh. Don't want to go there. That actually makes things a bit nicer because I don't think anyone's going to want to go through the flood world. Um, so. All right, let's get that extra logistical capacity sorted. One point or Oros commercial contract. That's what it's called. Oros commercial contract. No, I would expect it to be here. It's not. Oh, it's this one. Duh. Okay. Well, let's start getting these set up. Get a nice little trade route going. I am going to go ahead and sell these because I will forget later to set this up. And yeah, pretty soon, I think I'm going to want to move um move some some logistics space off here really annoying i only get eight for my home world 
Although it might just make sense to move my one of my um, shipbuilding. Uh, like maybe instead of moving my research stations, I should just move my um, naval yards up because it doesn't make sense to have my naval yards all the way back here. I think this planet would be a good candidate. So let's get a frigate y shipyard and I'll go ahead and I did it again. I keep selling the wrong one. It's kind of driving me a little crazy. Last planet. Yikes. Yeah, so I think I got the, was it the frigate shipyard I had building there? Oh, Covenant Corvette. Can build the capital shipyard and then I can delete these, scuttle them once they're done anyway. Oh yeah, I've got two. Oh yeah. How do I scuttle? Toggle scuttle. There we go. There we go. I'll wait 30 seconds, but it will be done. It will be done. Uh, I'm going to take this other fleet and probably head here. But it actually, this planet's actually kind of decently. Um, there's not a lot there. Eight. Well, let's do a bit more research. Sell some titanium. Wow, that's actually a good one. I should have got that earlier. Negative 30% research cost. Yikes. Uh, and then I will also go ahead and queue this up. I need to save up a bit of that. I don't think I'm researching well. My position for research is four. Nothing's looking great right now. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Here, bomb this planet. Uh, I'm going to pull the Charon off if I can catch it. Yeah, whatever. I always like getting the nuke. I just think it's a great weapon. Oh, I probably accidentally canceled some of that building, didn't I? Oh, well. Okay, so now I can buy the trade station and the refinery. I, th I think it works kind of like, well, not quite like Solaris because you don't need one on every planet, but I, th I think it works where you want to connect as many planets as you can. Population of 10. I think there was one of these planets I could upgrade further maybe. No, you're done, you're done, you're done. You're not done. Cool, cool, cool. This one looks nice, besides the fact that it's barren. I think I want to try to rush to this planet as much as I can, but we'll see. It looks like we're getting kind of close to Covey territory here. Either way, I want to figure out some choke points and start trying to hold them. Research order complete. And I got to get used to the fact that my shipbuilding is now here. Uh, let's unlock a few more ship types. Um, Hillsboro. All right, I think we need to upgrade. I think we need to upgrade um, our military tech. It's just, it's a little tough because we're, we're honestly running a little low on logistical capacity. There you go. We'll upgrade the Valiant and the Halberd. The Halberd's a, so the, the destroyers are better armored. Uh, they're pretty much, from what I remember, from the lore anyway, which this usually f follows. Um, they're pretty much better in most ways than, besides for their their weight. 
Oh my god, we're getting sieged. Christ. Better in most ways than the, the frigates, the destroyers are. Um... Yeah, let's have you go here. Did those shipyards finish building? Looks like they did, yeah. So let's see what my trade income is now. My trade income is 13. That's pretty good. And my refinery income is only 1.8, 1.4. Eh. Let's see if we can upgrade some of those. Because I've been doing a good job, I think, um, setting up the structures. So let's see if we can... I'm going to go ahead and buy some of this. Sell some of this. Doing the thing I said I wasn't going to do. Oh, I don't even have three structures. What a waste. Uh, well. Growth rate increase. Yes. Actually, let's cancel that and let's do this first. A my Mac. <laughs> I thought voice lines have been in the mod forever. Bro, I cannot hit the guy doing this to you. Oh, well, we found the Covenant. They are here. And this single cruiser would probably body that entire fleet I have. So. Should have been faster. Obviously. Slip space jump on my mark. Well, I'm going to build some halberds. And we got to get this planet captured, and we need to get it uh, gussied up. <laughs> no, but for real, we got to um, we got to get it defended. Oh shit! Planet Seresto. Which one is that? Oh, down here. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna. And our, our AI is just getting bodied, it seems. Let's see if I can find somewhere. I've got a bunch of new planets, so... Let's just get some more... Um, labs down. Logistic spot, shit. I need to get more civilian uh, tech. Jotun Lab. I also got to make sure that on these planets I'm getting all the mines built. Because that's a, a fuck up if you're not doing that. That is a fuck up. Okay. So we should also try to... Continue our trade station or trade um Oof. This planet would have been a nice one to get um, But we we got to get this captured as soon as we can and Once these uh, vessels are done there. I'm going to move them up to reinforce Um, I'd like to build a Valiant as well. What do I need for... Yeah. So, the reason why I'm selling so much Titanium is because we do have an excess right now. So, I'll make sure that all of these planets... you got one more slot I can build. You've got two more I can build. That's not good. Just Titanium at least. You're all covered. Okay. So... Five Halcyons, one Marathon. Let's wait for... Are these being built? No, they're not. All right, go ahead. You'll have to manage. I'm sure you'll be able to. I want to check to see if these all have max population too. Oh, this one doesn't. Oh, nice. Because upgrading not only... Um, upgrading not only upgrades the max population, also the growth rate, so... Oh. Even if you're not at the kind of current limit, it still makes sense to, uh, to upgrade if that makes if that makes sense. Okay, good job. Now let's get you down here. 
Good, 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 good. So as I increase the upkeep, um, or as I increase the um, the fleet capacity, you do also increase the upkeep. So it's a trade-off. And honestly, I don't need to upgrade it anymore because I'm kind of maxed out. Well, not maxed out. I'm not maxed out is what I should be saying. Um, I've got a lot more room for ships, so just keep... Building cruisers and save up some money and build some caps as well. All right, so this planet is good. Let's unlock the Viri class Super OWP. Back in my day, they called it ODPs. Trade good values increase. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think that's in manufacturing. Yeah, Viri ODPs. Okay, they're not super expensive either. These are your best weapons against the big Covey capital ships. Oh, they're more exp Oh, there's two classes. So, as the first Navy, the Viri class is unmatched computer structure power. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so... Max orbital defensive. Hopefully, okay, yeah. So there is room for more tactical fortifications there. I mean, one orbital weapons platform, I don't know how powerful that is. Last time I played, there was actually only one type, so that's kind of new. This planet just seems good overall, if I'm being honest. So that's good. We do have a Covenant scouting us right now. I just I can't be bothered to stop it. All right, the Valiant is ready. So I wouldn't mind pumping on a couple more val uh, Valiants. Or e even something heavier, but... I really just gotta be... So there's the uh, Viri class. I believe the other one's actually a Moncton class, which is kind of funny. Let's get the Anchor Station. Uh, which I think you... Yeah, he says you build it from the Phoenix. So let's get a Phoenix class being produced. Um... Given where this planet is, I will probably also end up building shipyards here. So, oh, that uses six. Wow. The good thing is, all of the enemies are going to be coming from this direction. So, I don't necessarily feel bad. Oof, uh-oh. Might have overestimated my, uh... Well, let's see, I guess. Let's pop something with this rocket. No, I, I think we're okay. Our, uh... Halcyons are a lot more powerful than those Parises, at least in terms of armor. Yeah, the kind of good thing is... There's only a couple of ways... Well, there's only really one way the enemy is going to be coming here. Um... So... Yeah, I think I'll also get a couple shipyards. And I think that still makes sense. All right, let's just check. Have you guys all been fully asteroided out? Not you. Oh, you're not colonizable. Okay. Well, that's all right. I'm going to move these. Yeah. It, the battle is going to come through here because I think these what are we doing. Yeah, the this ship is going to kind of. I need. I'm going to need a Ryan over there or a Phoenix class. Let's get this Phoenix over here. Let's get a second Phoenix being built. Um, the way this is going to work, I don't think they're going to go through there because they're Sentinels and they'll aggro on the enemy. So. It seems like it's all going to come down to this planet, so let's just get my forces moved before it's too late. Um, okay, you, I think, would be a good candidate for a research world. Can you hold more 
Oh yeah, you can. Beauty. Absolute beauty. How's our trade route looking? Okay, we gotta get one here. Fine. That is fine. I would love if the trade route went further, but it's what it is what it is. You here? Oh wait, I think I already got one. Head that way, right? Yes, so let's get you here. Let's get all these ships here. And let's get a couple more. Let's take a look. Let's, uh, uh, the Artemis is kind of like a... Hmm. Epoch. I honestly think the Artemis is kind of what I want right now. Honeycombing, yes. Industry. Colonies. Trade value increase, that's beautiful, that will help us. Still fourth in everything. What was that? What's the first thing there? Why are you not showing me there? Colonization were second. Oh no no no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Go 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 go. You guys are gonna get attacked. Aren't you? Oh my god, did they wipe them out? Oh god. Okay, we gotta kill that. It's weak. Kill it now. Ah, fuck. No, it's shields are coming back. Go. I changed my mind. Get out of there. Shit. Okay, so original strategy is not gonna work. I did not think they'd be able to pump through those Forerunner like that, but I was obviously mistaken. No, get out. Go, go, go. Oh my god, more are coming. Super carrier? Oh no. Oh Jesus. Alright, we really gotta start pumping out ships because bad things are about to start happening to us. Honestly, we gotta be kind of aggressive. See if we can take this planet. Paris here? Or the, uh... Just check. Sometimes it doesn't show you you've got upgrades available. Until you, yeah, like that, until you click on the individual ship. Did I start upgrading or researching that? Um, okay, the Artemis is being worked on. Please don't go through a flood planet. Please don't do that. Just let him go. I don't, I don't care. Yeah, it's about to be most of my colonies, I think. In case you guys are wondering what the flood looked like, they've got these infected Forerunner dreadnoughts. Well, my fleet's about to jump. A my Mac. Oh god. Okay, there's the, it's the Artemis I was gonna build. Okay. Got two coming, so this we're about to get a look at what they got here. Okay, not much. 
It's actually kind of a good situation. We might be able to catch this battle cruiser. And it's still more powerful than any five ships I have, but hopefully we can take it out. 249, that's our population before going to this. Hopefully we can take it out with suffering without suffering too many losses. Is it leaving? No, it's not. They actually didn't even colonize this planet, so that's interesting. Okay, let's. Go ahead and wait for the crystal for that. All right, if we strike this guy hard, everybody on him now. God, this thing frightens me. It's like their weakest capital ship. Want everyone to hit this with hit them with their goddamn nukes. Pop them, baby, pop them. Nice. Our star fighters are doing some good work. It seems. Catch this fudger. Don't let him get out of here. We're catching up on him. I think he might be able to get away. Yeah, he is getting away. Alright, well that's fine. I would love to catch him though. This will be a nice plan if we can get it. Um, Okay, we've got a lot of resources because I wasn't paying attention. So obviously we've got to build the UNSC Infinity. Um... We catch it. Uh, it's taking damage, but no, not from our capital ships. It'll take a second for it to get jump to slip space, but not that long. Is it turning? What's going on? Come on, hit it, hit it! Uh, damn it! Well, whatever. That sucks. Alright, I'm gonna buy some more deuterium, like a load, and sell a load of titanium. Well, we'll get a look at this planet in a second. Oh shit. Oh no. Crap. You guys gotta retreat. We'll hit him back in a second, but I don't have the stuff for it right now. You're gonna see shoot and scoot. No! It's my Marathon, my Halcyon, a couple Halcyons. How are we. Mm. Yeah, we're like doing nothing against it. Here, let's have everyone. Uh, this is weaker. Let's see if we can kill this. Oh, man. Right, we got a rendezvous with that Artemis. Those two Artemises. Get some support ships, maybe. Christ. Unyielding Hierophant. Oh no, what are they trying to build? I'm worried about Picasso Delta. Yeah, I'm worried about Leonosi Leonis Minoris, so. I'm super worried about this planet. I would not want to be here, right on the friggin' frontier. We did not come close to killing those ships. Alright, let's see if we can... How far are we away from unlocking the Infinity? I need somewhere with some logistics capacity. You don't have room, do you? No, just for the civilian. Well, I will build a civilian there. Destroyer ready for duty. I kind 
Oh, wow. Beautiful. Alright. Um, I will build another shipyard here as well, because it's... Honestly, we might be smart to just try to hit this with what we got and just retreat if necessary. So I realize I haven't been researching broadcast stations. It's because I usually turn that feature off. Obviously, I haven't here. Oh nice, I can get a trade facility from there. Perfect. Is he glassing this world? Two Artemises, Charon, three Halberds, a Valiant. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Just build a few more Halberds. They haven't actually injured the planet too much yet. They're just kind of there. Mm, the super carriers are standing nearby, though, so I don't want to go in like half cocked. Oh, shit. It looks like. Oh, no, these are all just. Oh, yeah, CCSs. Oh, they're jumping out. One destroyer. Okay, not much here. So I can destroy this unyielding hierophant, maybe. I assume that's like their. I assume that's like their uh, capital or super cap shipyard, maybe? Is that something? Oh, just a shuttle. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, this is their big... Okay, so this is one of their... I think this is like their Titan, pretty much. So let's see if we get just absolutely creamed by it. Which I assume we are going to. But I think it's pretty clear that I am... Going to lose anyway. So. I mean, we are catching it without any sort of reinforcement, so we gotta at least try. Look at all these fighters it has. And what is that? Like five, eight squadrons? Plus these. They're more? Yeah. It's crazy. Well. The first Mac rounds are away. And uh, we did a little bit on its shields. But we're about to start taking losses here. Actually, we're doing decent damage to it. Oh, shit. Well, kind of knew that was going to happen, so. Take that trade, I guess. Alright. Mmm, Cub Killer, that sounds good. Yeah, those are the ones fighting the, uh... Oh, reinforcements just showed up. Oh my god, we're so close, come on! 
Come on, boys. Come on. <gasps> no, fight. Come on. Oh, we got it. We got the super capital. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. Yeah, that's a... That's a UNSC win there. Alright. Let's get these cubby fucks out of my planet. Yes, I will say that fleet at least, I will say, didn't have any of the real big boys. Um... Okay, um... I'm a little worried. <laughs> uh, where was it that I could upgrade? Oh, here. Let's get the microwave generator going. And we can set that to upgrade. Microwave generator. Can I just not get that because it's not upgraded? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we want that star base properly up. I don't know if I will have the... Oh, yeah. So, I got a tactical capacity for another big one. And we kind of know which direction they'll probably be coming from, so... It looks like we're dogging this heavy cruiser pretty well. Come on. Gut it. Oh, it got away. No, we're, we're, we're following that. Go on. Go on then. What are they? So I can't tell how much this actually is. CCS class. Is it a bladder ship? It does, huh? Be like a reef, like a supply vessel or something. Looks like they may actually be leaving this alone. I don't know. Okay, let's take a look at getting the infinity built. Um, we want some place with tactical capacity. It needs to be twelve, so you can probably take twelve. And then 5,000, 1,015. So that's a lot. So I gotta, I'm kind of questioning whether that's actually worth it. So they got two ORSs, two CCSs, uh, more ships popping in. All right, honestly, I think I do think the infinity could help change the tide of things for me. Microwave generator generators. Just like, actually, it's not taking as long as I feared, but, and then is there still an infinity build cost above that? 5,000, 1,000. I don't know, we'll have to see. I assume there is because what's like, I'm just going to be patient. Let's burn this Covenant world. This is more than the UNSC actually did in the lore. We desperately need some support ships for this fleet, I think. They're actually getting decent... Uh, our trade route got disrupted. So that planet got kind of... kind of messed with. I know, um, cost... Here, let's take some of those back. Yeah, they're gonna burn that, I think. It's alright. 
looks like I'm going to need to build a because their culture is starting to overwhelm here and I won't be able to capture that planet I'm pretty sure while the culture is so strong so yeah, imagine the infinity's got to be like 10 10,000 credits or whatever to build so let's scuttle this can I At least we're killing some things. Oof. It's trying to get away. Oh, that's not the... There's another of those unyielding hierophants. Yeah, that thing be spinning some fast. Kind of would have loved if humanity had just... Uh, what? If humanity had just destroyed the unyielding hierophant by just bodying it with like a fleet. Well, we can come back. Let's see if we can take out this capital ship. That's there. They actually haven't even done much to this world yet. It's at full population, which is well, a little surprising. Okay, so we've... I think we've got enough now to build... Oops. Uh, let's see. I can afford to sell one, two... The only thing this means is that the infinity's gonna it, it'll take a while before it, you know, gets the front lines, but Okay, so now with that built, I mean Fuck. Where? Alright, so I gotta start reinforcing this battle group here. Uh, it's the Gladius that's the anti-fighter, I think. Yeah. Um, I noticed the Covenant have a lot of fighters, so... This thing's actually not super strong. It's just got a scary name, Super Cruiser. Can you guys jump already, please? What are you taking fire from? Okay, look at my fleet capacity, it's disgusting. And this is normal too. You guys saw me put this on normal, right? It's almost done. Let's just take a look. Once it is, see how much this infinity is going to cost me. Obviously an arm and a friggin' leg. So we didn't lose the Valiant, we didn't lose the Artemis. So that's at least positive. Okay, we got to keep researching. We've fallen way behind. Total waste of money. So... They actually left that planet alone. It's kind of weird. I would love to see just w like how well these max could do against like, like, is that like going to two shot a UNSC? Um, let's get mostly anti fighter. Like, is that going to two shot a Covenant battle cruiser? I wonder. Okay, so let's see the cost of the infinity. It was here, right? 25. Okay, I guess 10. So, I was off. That being said... It might be worth it to build it. At least just for the purposes of the... Uh, of the video. Is it finally here? It was here, right? They said. I don't think they're actually sieging this planet, are they? No, they're not. You should be able to body this guy pretty easy. No, finish building. Yeah. No, finish building this for. Oh, it's. Oh, it just got blown up. Rip. And those uh, valiants are slow. 
Oh shit! They are they ever? It's j it's only my f it's only my light va uh yeah it's only my light chips that are here so far. That's not great. Well, good thing this is just one of the weaker covenant ships. What if the star bases get bigger? Um, the more you upgrade, that'd be cool. All right, let's. Okay, let's try to save up, I guess. Really like to take this planet, though. We really gotta get this culture thing built. Well, there we go. Alright, well, let's go back, I guess. So last time we were there, there wasn't actually a whole lot. It was just their stations that were attacking us. Oh, they got more ships. I wonder if they're trying to come through. It looks like they're jumping this way, which would not be great because I thought I was safe because of the fleets there, but I don't think I am. What does this do? Capital planet. Don't want to do that. Nice. That gives me an orbital logistics increase, I think, on every planet. I don't know if I want to uh, get this these fleet capacity things up. Let's get the Punic. And I, I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, save up and buy the infinity. It's going to trying to save up for it. Is just, it's going to kill me. Like it's going to make it so I can't do anything else. So Matter processor. Okay, so these are all. This is their station here, I think. Or no. Prothesization Temple. That's like a culture. That should be like a culture station based on the name. I think it's mostly the, the Hierophant. That's. I'm not sure though. All right, let's build some more. Valiant has 11. What does the Punic have? 23. I really wonder what's going on here. They're just, they're leaving my planet. They're just like, they're not being super aggressive. Might be because of the difficulty, I'm not sure. Wait, what is... Fuck, my Valiants are taking a beating from something. Is it fighters? I swear to God, if I lose ships attacking an undefended planet, it's going to be a little frustrated. Oh, there they go. And it was a matter of time. Three, four, three seconds. Nice touch. Man, I'm losing these Valiants. I don't understand to what. They're like, is it these single fucking fighters? Halcyon oh wait, those are the, that's the Halcyon. Where are they? Right here? Oh yeah, they're there. It must be the station, dude. 
But it's, all it says it has is pulse lasers. Can we get out of here? Let's get some... We obviously need a lot more in terms of... Sh Let's get some Gladiuses. Gladiuses, sorry. Let's save up and... Did I not research the Punic? I thought I... Buy a couple of Punics, I guess. I think I, did I lose both of them? I just, I don't understand. Like, it's just a shipyard, I thought. Obviously this is their, maybe this is their star base or something? Cause, I don't know. But either way, I don't know. Either way, we don't have enough to do anything. <laughs> Obviously, I should have played on on easy because this is just kicking my ass. Um. really want to okay, I'm not really trying to increase my fleet capacity to the detriment of my economy right now Man, that is tough but like any is anything even surviving that my Artemis is at least for now, hopefully they, they're pretty goddamn slow though, so I don't know. Yeah, engine speed even slow. It's not looking great. Maybe with two Punics I can pop through there. Which allied naval forces though? Honestly, you guys might as well go here. I'll rebuild the fleet we got here. Um, it's not like we've got a whole lot anyway. We've got a Valiant and Artemis and then just some escort ships. So it's not like we had a whole lot over here anyway. I'll build a Punic as the center for this new fleet and just get over there. Well, at least it made it. They're leaving again. I, I really can't figure out what their strategy is here. Once again, I got my trade network all messed up. So my planets have a bit more orbital capacity now. Wait, did I just never build that? That is so dumb. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. You've got all your shit. You've got all your shit. You don't. Actually, I don't need you. Let's cancel that. Because the star base, I believe, gets trade. There it is. So 
So yeah, the microwave generators there helps the, the guns. Man, you muff, because they're slow. First Punic is done. Command. Um, so five. Okay, so I'm down a little bit of money for it. I definitely do want that Punic here. I wonder if they're taking the opportunity now because they've scouted now and they've they will have seen that I've got no reinforcements there, so Point blank is like a giant prowler Thanatos I've never heard of that before Be a fan and ship Okay Oh no, is that a, oh no, okay, the, the way the symbols looked, I thought for a second that was a super carrier. UNSC, Kiss of Spring, beautiful. Alright baby, let's blast them. God, slow is slow. <laughs> Could explore planets for like assets, but I don't have, I don't really feel like I've got the money to spend on like maybes. I kind of need sure things right now. Like Punic class super carrier, you know it's going to be there for you in the morning. Well, we're about to get some nice reinforcements. Oh, thank God, our freighter's here. Heavy Corvettes are moving into position to take out the fight. Oh, crap. Moving into position to take out the fighters, at least. Should be able to take this. Ooh. Must be the Artemis from long range, was it? Well, the weapons platform is done. It's just not... If you okay, that's the valiant at least taking that. So you do not want the Artemis taking too much. Oof. All right, you got you got to take that bad boy down, ASAP, everybody on this. Yeah, even the. Come on, crush this thing. Oh, I think we just lost a cap. Oof, this Valiant is almost dead as well. It might survive. How's the Punic doing? Not bad. Just try to get you out of there. Get to the... Where's the dock repair yard? Get there. Nice. Get it? Beauty. Alright, now you guys gotta repair up. Because in a minute, we're gonna sh see if we can hit back. We just need more. Uh, let's get another Artemis.
I don't understand. They're just they're just not doing anything to it. Like they've surrounded the planet. They've got ships that could glass it. They're just not. Turn the volume up a bit. Pretty sure this is all just to disrupt my trade network because they keep. I don't know. Never mind. Got some ODST hot shots. Looking for action. UNSC forces have engaged the enemy. I'm actually not sure if I did lose any capital ships there. Either way, it was a pretty decent win. Getting a nice little fleet together here, too. Just double check to make sure. Let's. There's definitely some stuff I should be researching here. Oh, yeah. These are like the things that increase, that like buff every ship. So you definitely should be getting those. It's like another temporary planetary bombardment. I don't know. You know what? They're not moving. I'm just going to move uh, like if they decide to push through there, I'm screwed anyway. So I might as well put all my eggs in one basket and hope. Maybe that's not a great strategy. Allied naval forces have engaged the enemy. Drop Paris is into battle. That's kind of sick. Alright, well before we get into that battle, let's see if we can get a few more. Inbound UNSC reinforcements. DOS Super Cruiser. The situation must be great. This is like probably the worst military strategy of all time. But it is what it is. I really want to take this world and I guess I push this way. Like, I don't know what other options I have. So, where do we stand? Like, do I have no allies left? Like, is my, my ally completely wiped out? Like, is that what's going on here? Can I increase? Okay, I can increase my tactical capacity. If you weren't so useless, bro, I honestly do not. I'm not trying to hear that from you. Like, I'm really not. Um, Orbital hangar. Well, let's get some of the lesser ODPs as well. Yeah, with all that in total, we'll have four Punix. Uh-oh. Shit. Okay, we got a brief stop to make. Are you leaving? What are you doing? The DDS class, that would be nice to kill. Oh god. Good luck. Actually, it kind of lucked out there. The slower ships were actually closer to the, the southwestern edge of the gravity well. So that actually kind of works out. If I see an ability called Cove Killer, I'm probably just going to buy that. Like, I'm not even gonna, really going to look into what it does. I'm just going to assume that it kills Covenant ships, which is kind of something I need. Um, ship build rate increase. Don't care about that. Allied naval forces have engaged the enemy. Damage increase. All right. Anytime we can catch a Covenant... Oof. I feel really bad for this Corvette. It's like literally the worst ship possible to be facing off against that. Well, not literally the worst, but one of the worst. Alright, the first Punix here. I need the reinforcements to arrive. Okay, there we go. Nice. Just 
Just nail it, baby. Nail it. Oh, he's running. Come on, kill it. Kill it. Before he goes. Before he goes. Come on. Let's go. Hunt that bastard down. No, no running. That's where the infinity station is as well. Um, Halcyon refit action. Oh, that's not a. The Halcyon refit used to be a. Um, it used to be a capital ship. UNSC cannot afford your request at the moment. Now apparently it's not. Now it's just a regular ship type. I really want to push through because the the more I wait, the more the AI is just gonna get more powerful. He repaired fully? What? How? How did he repair fully in that time? Oh my goodness. Those are shenanigans, I'm sorry. That's... Hey, where are you going? Don't... Oh, wait, what are you guys doing? No, no, no. Who told you? Yeah, you should not be able to recharge to get his shields fully back up, but just going through slip space, that's crazy. The good thing is that first volley did a good job on his shields. Oh, nice. He can't slip. He got hit by something. Orbital structure complete. Oh, well, say goodbye to one of these ships. But we're going to kill it. Oof. Actually, the the Punic took most of that, and it's just doing just fine. Allied naval forces have engaged the enemy. Nice, it's dead. All right, everyone's got a rendezvous here. Save up and I'll buy. Actually, I can buy you now on a second. If we buy this and a few more ships, I'm not buying anything else until it's the infinity. That's the rule. All right, boys, let's go get there quickly. I will do some research, though. Um, I'm going to take this time to look at any good research things I may have missed. I will buy that. Industry. I'm going to buy these things because that's going to that's those are all good. All of this is good, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I'll buy... Yeah. That's actually like a pretty significant increase as well, so... Okay, my ships are en route. Let's do this one first. Still second in colonization, at least. Naval have the enemy. I don't understand how my AI ally is getting bodied is... Oh, I finally lost that planet there. That's okay. I can live with that. I'm really just hoping and praying that... Um, these stations are enough to... I'm going to build a few more ships, I lied. I 
Inbound UNSC reinforcement. Just anything to... Okay. Yeah, just because I, I don't know whether that'll be enough. Okay. The big fleet's arriving. The, the big, this is, these are pretty much all of my ships. Three Punics, four Valiants, four Artemises. Um... Oh no. Ah. <sighs> they sh Fuck. They hit my shipyard there and I probably don't even get those credits back I spent on all those Halcyons. I'm not sure. Why are you I thought I told you guys to jump together. You must have All right, you guys just jump whenever you can, I guess. Such a pain in my ass. Just a CCS at least. Well, just a CCS will body this. Oh, never mind. I hit it with. Oh, the Cove Killer. Nice. Still, I need my reinforcements to arrive because there's a second one. Oh, hurry up, boys. This thing is not meant to. Can you jump away? Thing is not meant to go head to head. The Covenant cruiser. Our capital cruiser is venting atmosphere. Shit! Go 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 go. Go 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 go! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Our allied capital ship. Fuck! Didn't make it. Why did he? Whatever. What a pain. Research order complete. What an absolute pain in my butt. The covenant will learn to fear my name. Artemis Agroterra. What do you need? I need to get that Artemis, or that, uh, whatever it was I lost back. Alright. Well, everyone here. No. <sighs> Shit. Everyone, let's just gather at the edge of this gravity well, please. Oh. Great. All right, everyone back. The interesting uh, battle tactically. <laughs> Phoenix gonna arrive soon. We lost a few ships already, though. There are no okay. Okay. Well, that actually ended up kind of working out for us. I mean, we still lost a lot of ships, but took out a decent. Well, we're, we are taking out a decently sized Covenant fleet. Hopefully, depends. What are we gonna lose? We just lost a couple caps. Punic is still fine. That one anyway. Valiant. Oh man, I think we just may have lost one. Let's take a look. Punic? No, he's still over Punix. Okay. Oh, 
lost my shipyards there too. That is brutal. Uh oh. Well, at least we'll get an interesting look at what the uh, defense platform can do. Come on, hit it. Hit it, please. I'm just, I'm curious at this point more than anything else. Hmm. It's not great. Well, guys, I think this is pretty much a lost cause. I will do this attack that I've been preparing for, but... I'm just getting annihilated, so. We will, I think, end this video. Like, do I need to play on easy? What is it? I don't know. This is hard. This is really hard. I mean, I haven't built any ships in a while. Probably doesn't help. Still not... I'm close cash-wise to the infinity, but actually, I'm not that far off. And the other ones too. I thought the I thought the other two were five thousand, but oof, that is a very large oof for me. I blame this one on poor AI help. I think. Imagine taxing our citizens while there's a Covey fleet in orbit. I can sell down to twenty six. And she's thanks from Halo. Oh, that's this. That's the Seraph. Aren't the likes the or Lich? Sorry, these are the things from Halo Five or Halo Four. Sorry, or is it? Yeah, Halo Four. You go into it when you're you find the Infinity and you. Let's see if we can at least destroy the unyielding Hierophant, and maybe we'll build the Infinity too, just because we're going to be able to. We may not even be able to take this friggin' thing down. We even with all these ships. I think one of the problems here that I'm gonna encounter is I lost all of those, um... I lost all of those gladiuses I built, I think. Yeah, it's just, it's only my big capital ships that survived, so... That's not super helpful. Oh wow, we have the UNSC Infinity. I don't understand, where is this guy on the map even? Because I can see everywhere. I don't know. Oh. Well, shit. No, at least I put a dent into it. There's not much else I can say. My fleet's gonna be wiped out here. Are Punics still alive? Yeah, Punics are at 80. You guys can dog these. Kill the uneven elephant. Two squids kissing. I hate it. Like, I'm pretty sure destroying this will do absolutely nothing to help the war effort. Although the war effort doesn't really exist at this point. Spoiler alert. My Punics are still alive. Research order complete. Tell me to fight. Yeah, you guys gotta do something else. Hey! There she blows! Reddit, we did it! Yeah, it's, the situation, I would say, is at least fairly grave, yeah. That's pretty accurate. The situation is definitely fairly grave. I know it says Sinovi Sinovia Dry Dock. I can't help but see Soviet Dry Dock every time I look. 
All right, let's retreat. We'll wait for the infinity. We'll see what happens. Nothing good, I'm told. Don't worry, this world's got one Halberd class destroyer. What? Oh, CAS class carrier. Fun, fun, fun. Four hundred seconds. Come on, bro. Well, I'm at a fleet capacity because of the infinity. Is it estrogen pattern? No, estrogen pattern. So, Covenant ships have different patterns, they're called, which is basically, like, the design. And I imagine this is a fan pattern. I don't think the C -C -S CSO usually has these little prongs at the bottom. I'd love to see the uh, Infinity crush the estrogen pattern if I get a chance here. It's still, like, a minute away from being done, though, so the chances of that are not great. What else is new, baby? What else is new, baby? <laughs> this is like the, the lore. Like this is the, the actual human covenant war here. Like this is completely accurate. Just like that, completely accurate. A closer way. Ooh, we're getting close. Research order complete. Allied naval forces have engaged the enemy. She's seconds away. Uh, where'd I build her? Down here. There she is. You can see it's almost finished. Imagine I cancel it. I want my money back. This is a ripoff. CS class carrier over Earth. Great. All right, let's go. Let's go, baby. All right, so. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Proved arms. I like having arms. Shield regeneration. Strident deployment. I think you can. I think it just lets you. Yeah, you just max it out one way. UNSC considered fast? Normal. UNSC Infinity, I mean. Looks good with orange. Would be cool if you go post-war and actually start to gain advantage over the Covenant. If we could, I might actually have a chance, but... Be nice if I could build a second Infinity, but you can't. All right, where is this fucker? Do I still have my slip space in system jump? That used to be an ability. Yep. Where are my stridents that I just called in? Do I get to keep those? All right, crack this fucker. Oh, there's there's the shrines right there. Naval have nice. The enemy. You killing this thing or what, dude? There we go. Crack them. CSO carrier ain't shit, baby. The shrines have shields. Oh, that's the dry dock. Oops. They do have shields. Very cool. Chase him down. Colony command signal lost. Don't care. I just don't care anymore. We're not winning, so I'm just. Um. Uh, I can only get that with that one guy. Okay. Okay. I really don't like how the Covenant ships can just like instantly respawn. When they're jumping through, I almost said hyperspace. You know what I mean. Can he level up further? Hmm. 
You want to see adrenaline rush? Cool. Okay, it's apparently it's like a bug or something because the second they start taking damage again, they revert to their old health. What if I want the Anlace lace? All right, I'm just gonna upgrade everything. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. More preliminary research is required. Well, we beat it. Yeah, there it goes. See ya. Alright, let's go. Research order complete. The infinity will lead us to victory. It's the nasty aliens. Can away for your big bro. So I don't think he can be further upgraded. Lunar Eclipse, not a super covenant name for a ship, I don't think. Oh wait, that was the UNSC Lunar Eclipse. Why are you telling me it'll be Avenged? Just do it then. Like I don't care. Avenge it all you want. I haven't seen any proof you can do shit yet. There are no heroes in this Paris deployment, cool. I wonder if I've got multiple, because I know that was at level 3 for the Punix. You're only level 2. What about the th There's another one hiding. Oh, yeah. Nice. Alright, she's about to arrive. You big boys better start moving. Alright, let's do it. Your mom did that. Got him. Research order complete. Desperate time, school for desperate. Just check my capital ships. Yeah, so like it doesn't quite tell you. Sometimes be when there's upgrades available. Planet side infrastructure complete. Alright, boys. You're on fighter duty, okay? This is where the this is where the tides are changing. I can see it in my mind's eye. I'm visualizing it. Make it happen. This is like how the UNSC Infinity is actually used in the lore. It's like humanity's last ship. It's like. You know when they're whipping out the infinity that things are in a rough shape? Story of my life, baby. Story of my life. Orbital structure complete. My only chance is to like just tear through them with this fleet, and it's just it's not gonna happen. There are no heroes in this world. Even with based infinity. What can I do for you? Engines at one hundred percent. Ain't gonna happen. Not the fleet capacity for it, I guess. Yep. Additional research. Oh, I lost some of my structures. Is what happened. Oh. Orbital structure complete. Desperate time, school for desperate measures. Where's the infinity? This better be important. All right, free XP for everybody. So let's go back. You guys following me or what? Nope. I was wondering whether they here hit that if you can. That'd be nice. 
We don't live in a world of nice. We live in a world where we be where we're being decimated by the covenant. And where's the infinity? Back there. UNSC forces have engaged the enemy. Planet side infrastructure complete. I, uh, go when you can go. Go when you can go. So does he get to keep those stridents or is it just do the 10 get destroyed and then more come? So here are the... Yeah, they're treated like fighters because they're not jumping to hyperspace with them. But can they? Like, could I tell them to? Yeah, I guess so. Behind these dudes. Orbital structure complete. class heavy frigate reporting in. Where are you going? Oh, I sent you over earlier. Right, enjoy. All right, UNSC Infinity, do your thing. Relying on you. Slow as hell, though. I can at least build those. We're probably about to get some uh, population room in just a second. Oh, look at that, 50. Allied naval forces have engaged the enemy. Where is she? What do you need of me? Nylon's lodestone. <laughs> I think of 200. Oh, they destroyed probably the research station. There she is. Crushing them. We are ready to wage war. What do you need of me? Oh, well, just do your thing. Yeah, we are crushing them, at least. Um, we are going to need to build a frigate shipyard. The ships that are surviving are becoming more powerful. Did any of my Punics level up so I can get more of those, uh... More of those free frigates. Valiant. Oh, 
I can't call them in because I don't have available ship slots, of course. Uh, where's the infinity? Let's stop these fuckers from running. Why can't I spot you? Oh, there you are. Or no, that's not you, that's the Punic. I think we might stop him anyway. Anyway, let's continue what we were doing. Can't even build a colony ship. Well, guys, I think that's going to be it. We'll try this last battle just because we've done it halfway so many times. But yeah, it's it's it is over, unfortunately, for us. Although we do have the UNSC Infinity, um, I'm too tactically compromised. Otherwise, we got the Covenant loose just in my territory. I could split my fleets up and try to stop them, but even if I did... Let's just turn the speed up if I can. I don't know where you do it in the ma... Oh, right there. Colony command signal lost. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Any Let's just Order take... Confirmed. Actually, I... I might not even have any warships that can. Our allied capital ship has been neutralized. Don't have any warships that can take this anyway. Allied naval forces have Just engaged the enemy. Probably an issue that I should have anticipated. One more glass world, not on my watch. Well, we'll blow up this uh, these two kissing squids and we'll call it. But yeah, guys, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. We can do more. Ground forces are under planet. Do we need to play easy? Maybe. Um, I feel like there were some, there's obviously things I could have done better, like I'm super rusty, obviously, but. I say I like this Halcyon refit. Where's the Infinity? Does the Infinity stick with its stridents? Oh, I can't actually take the planet. Okay. The Punix can do it. It's not like we needed... Oh, there's the infinity. Bro. Help with the, uh, the big... The big ship. Or a big station. So you don't have Admiral Whitcomb here, so... You are beautiful, UNSC Infinity. You really are. Is there cinematic mode? Colony command signal. One second. Oh no, that's not it. Um. A way to turn on. You think it'd be this? Oh, it just it doesn't really turn off a whole lot of the UI. I thought it was in here somewhere. I saw... I thought I saw... Somewhere... Might as well. Let's apply these better graphics. See yeah, how that changes. Oh, UI settings. Um, let's just turn off... Oh, everything's already off. Cinematic mode is on. All that should be off. But it's not. Ready for launch. I can hide. Not the shoot and scoot. Yeah, kind of crappy cinematic mode. I thought it was better than that, but. Well, guys, that'll be it for me. Thanks for watching. Unfortunately, the UNSC, despite all of our resources now, is in too dire of a. Oh, well, let's do the space battle at least. Oh, now cinematic mode's working. Kind of. Well, let's see if we can win this space battle. It could be a fun way to end it. Let's see. Oh, there's their Titan. 
These the Phoenix get over here. Everyone try to hit that Titan. These are the Punics. I think I was accidentally selecting something else. Actually, interesting. I think we will take this, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. I want you to go straight for their big boy. One on one. Let's go. Bad thing is, he's already hit it with all of his specials. It's still standing, although it's shieldless. And we are not. We are shielded. Have those Punics arrived yet? Yeah. I think we're gonna kill the Titan, but then... Probably lose to this. This is a pretty big fleet here. And our, uh... We got two ORSs up here, here. Take this one out. Just focus on one at a time. Look how slowly we're doing damage right now. It's crazy. Well, we cracked their Titan. But we do not have a lot left in the way of ships. We've got three Punics, the Infinity, and a few Strike Craft, so this will be a noble death at least. Hey, we got plenty of room for uh, reinforcements now. UNSC forces have engaged the enemy. What do you need of me? Yeah, let's what call on our reinforcements. What now, there they are. Oh my god, they got wiped out already? Oh no. Some of them are. Oh my god, they're just eating it. The UNSC Infinity is basically going to like solo these. It'd be nice if we get some stridents out. The Infinity lost its shield. If I were actually playing, I'd probably... Well, I'd, I'd have my eye on the Infinity's tactical jump. So I'd get away if needed. I'd keep it within the range of the gravity well, but... We're more than willing to lose it at this point. I'm gonna say that those, uh... I'm gonna say that the, uh... Those frigates didn't do a whole lot to help. This is like the opposite of a, uh... Typical battle. The Covenant having numbers in the UNSC. The Covenant having less numerous but more... Or less powerful but more numerous vessels in the UNSC. Having a few strong ones, it's like the opposite. It's usually the other way around. Our capital ship's is critical. Oh, they're just RCSs. Yeah, so like right now I'd probably jump to the uh, that, uh, that other side of the planet and just start huffing it home. Huffing it? Is that the expression? Probably not. Are they retreating or no? They're just turning to face. Well, we'll die a noble death. This is the end of humanity. These RCSs are, oh, those are CCSs. It's kind of hard to tell the size, I guess, when you're that zoomed out and they're not next to each other. Getting absolutely annihilated. Well, Infinity, I'm still proud of you. John F. Kennedy's loss. No, JFK. We already lost you once. Are they actually willing to run? Like, are they going to chase me now? The fighters will. Wow, the shields on this actually... I'm just kind of curious. Probably... those fighters can probably kill me. Allied naval forces have engaged the enemy. 
Mm, yeah, they're doing good damage to my shields. All right, guys, this can be it. Thanks for watching. Maybe we'll do more of these if you guys want. Until next time, be safe. Have a good one. And now, blah, 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 blah. May the force be with you. Bye bye.